Good afternoon, students, and welcome to Sir Daniel's English B Classroom. For today, we'll begin our class by organizing into groups of fours. So for those of you who are in the class, if you can find some of your other classmates and group together in groups of fours. And for those of you who are working online, I would have already organized a breakout room for you. So just go into that breakout room with four persons per group and get yourselves organized and ready. You have 30 seconds to do that. So quickly get it done. Good, now that you are finished, I have with me today my mystery bag. And you all know what the mystery bag entails, right? Yes. So, for each group, I would like one person to select one item from this mystery bag. So you'll just push your hand in, and whether it's the first item that you touch, you can pull that, or whichever item you feel like you want to pull, you can pull that, but you can only take one item from this mystery bag here today. For those of you who are working online, there is a picture that has now been sent to the breakout room for you, and that picture, the item in that picture is what you will be working with, all right? So come on, select your one item. Great, now that each group has one item, here is what I would like for you to do for me today. I have some compare cards with me. I will give one compare card to each group. For those of you working online, you can use the Jamboard to write your information. For those of you in class, when you receive this compare card, what you will do with them is that you will make a comparison between the item that you have and your favorite teacher. And for those of you working online, you'll do the very same thing. All right, so let me give each group a compare card. Please fill this up. Okay, students, well, it looks like most of you are finished. And from what I see taking place here online, it seems like most persons are finished there as well. So good job in finishing up. Now, if you would turn your attention to the whiteboard, you'll notice all of the items that were in the mystery bag are on the board, or at least a picture of all of those items. So we have honeypot, we have the flower, ruler, pencil, and a sponge. Students, what I would like for you to do now is to um, bring up your completed compare cards, and I would like for you to match your completed compare cards with the corresponding item that you wrote about, or that you pulled, rather, from the mystery bag, okay? So please come on up and just place your compare card next to the item. All right, let's take a look at some of these responses that we got, all right? So I see one group um, on their compare card, they have my favorite teacher is sweet like honey. All right, very good. Um, I see for the flower, another group has my favorite teacher smile is like a sunflower. All right, good. Let's see what we have at the bottom here. My favorite teacher is as straight as a ruler. Mm -hmm. Then we have my favorite teacher likes to sharpen his pencil. Okay. And then we have at the top here, my favorite teacher is a soft sponge. All right, so students, I appreciate your hard work. So with all that we would have done so far, does anyone have any idea what today's topic may be? For those of you who are working online, you can simply text in your response to the school's WhatsApp group and I'll check it out and let you know if you're correct, right? But for those of you who are in class right now, do you have any idea what today's topic may be? Yes, I see Javon in the back here. What do you think today's topic is, Javon? Javon said simile. All right, that is correct. Let's give Javon a nice hand. Good response, Javon. Javon, let me ask you another question though. Why do you think today's topic is simile? Because we've been making comparisons between two things. Very good. This child is very intelligent. Good job, Javon. I see Kalissa also sent in the response of simile as well as today's topic. And yes, you are correct, Kalissa. So today's topic is simile. And when we think about a simile, a simile is a comparison of two things using the words like or as, all right? So, for example, the sun was hot like fire. Here we see that the sun is being compared 
to fire, using the word light. For clear understanding of what simile is, let's draw our attention now to the whiteboard. Let's look at some of the responses that we had gotten earlier from the compare cards to see if what you came up with, junior comparisons, were simile or not. All right? So let's look at it. Here we have my favorite teacher is sweet like honey. Could we say that this comparison is a simile? Yes or no? Yes, I see Trevon saying yes. Why is that so, Trevon? Because we see the word like is being used to compare two things. That is correct. Let's look at example number two. My favorite teacher's smile is like a sunflower. Would we consider this a simile class? Yes, we can because once again we see that um, your favorite teacher's smile is being compared to a sunflower with the use of the word like. Very good. This is a good class. Number four. My favorite teacher likes to sharpen his pencils. Would we consider that a simile class? Yes, Jordan. No, we would not consider it a simile, right? Because there are no comparisons being, um, sorry, there is no comparison being made, all right? And so this would not be considered a simile either. But let's see how we can change this to be a simile. How about saying, my favorite teacher is soft like a sponge. Would that be a simile class? Yes, of course it would be. Good job. You all seem to have gotten that concept of simile down. Very good. Make the necessary corrections, all right? Why do we use similes? Hmm? Does anyone have an answer why do we use similes? Jaden, yes sir, why do we use it? To make comparison between two things? Very good. I see Ashley sent in a response here. She said um, to compare two unlike things. All right, good. Um, another question. Why is it important to use similes? So we use them to make comparisons, but why is it so important for us to use them? Joshua. Yes, using simile helps to create images in the mind of the person who is reading the simile. Very good, very good. Here are some other reasons why using simile is important. It's important because it makes our language more creative. It helps to describe something better. And it is very entertaining as well. All right, class? Also, simile helps the person who is reading to visualize what is being described. The last question I have for you is this, class. What quality did you want to bring out about your teacher when you made your comparisons earlier? Hmm? So I, I look at the first example here. My favorite teacher is sweet like honey. What were you trying to say about your favorite teacher? Yes, Jane. That she is pleasant. Very good. Arthur, I see you raising your hand. That she smells good. All right, nice. Mm -hmm. Ashley, her personality is very attractive. Very good. Exactly, to do next class. I would like for you to access your devices. I've just sent a link to the school's WhatsApp group. So there is an online game-based quiz that you need to go and complete at this time. You have five minutes to complete it. So for your next activity, I would like for you to analyze the poem on these worksheets, all right? So each sheet has a poem on it, and I would like for you to identify the simile that is present in that poem. Now, there may be more than one simile, all right? So make sure you look for as much similes as possible and then just underline them. For those of you working online, let me send over your copy right now. So you should have a soft copy that should have just arrived in the group. Please do the same thing. Identify the simile or similes and underline them, all right? You have five minutes to complete this activity. Here you go, get working. All right, welcome back students. It's good to have you again. And I see most of you would have completed your worksheet. Great job. I want us to just look quickly at two of the poems that you were given and let us identify now the similes together, right? Let's look at the first uh, poem, which is entitled Brian, and let's identify the simile, right? So bouncy like a beach ball. Is there a simile in that first line? Of course, yes, and it's like a beach ball. Then we have rounds like a Giselle. 
What do you think? Yes, silver is there as well. What about yellow here as shiny as sunshine? Is there silver in there? Yes, shiny as sunshine. So, so far we would have learned what a simile is, we would have learned how to identify similes, and we would have learned about the importance of similes. Now I want to teach you how to write a simile in three simple steps. So I'm sure you've asked yourself before, hmm, how do I write a simile? Well, let me show you. The first step you need to take in writing a simile is that you need to think of one thing that you want to describe and an adjective that describes that thing. So, um, for example, if you want to describe a ball, you can talk about how the ball is round or if it's big or if it's small. The second step you'll take is that you need to think of a second thing that shows the same or a similar characteristic. And then thirdly, you'll combine by saying that the first thing is like the second thing or the first thing is as whatever as the second thing. Let me show you what I mean. So, for example, if I wanted to create a simile using this ball, all right, I will say, okay, I need an adjective to describe this ball. So the adjective that I'll use would be round, all right? Then for my second step, I need to think of a second thing that shows the same or similar characteristics. And so here I have a coconut that has some of the same characteristics as the ball. All right, and then thirdly, I need to combine by saying that the first thing is like the second thing, or the first thing is as whatever as the second thing. So here's a simile that I can come up with. I can say that this ball is as round as this coconut, or I can say that this ball is round like a coconut. Also, I can say that this ball is as huge as a watermelon, or I can say that this ball is huge like a watermelon. Does everyone think they have an understanding of how to go ahead and write a simile? Great. So here's what I would like for you to do, class. Please write two similes of your choice using this graphic organizer as a guide, okay? So you have Five minutes to get All right. I see that most of you are finished. Good job. Well, I see that someone shared their response with me online, and this is Kelly, and one of the similes that Kelly came up with is he's as thin as a broomstick. He's as thin as a broomstick. Class, is that a simile? Yes, it is. We see two, thing, um, two things are being compared. You see um, a, a person is being compared to a broomstick and basically it brings to our mind the image of someone being very thin. All right, here is what you'll do for me next. You will reference this as a guide or use it as a guide and you will write one three stanza free verse poem about your favorite teacher. Now, pay careful attention to this. Um, for each stanza of your poem, you must include at least one simile there. All right, does everybody understand what they need to do? Excellent. So you can go and get working on that now, class. Okay, students, good job completing your poems. I checked them and each of you did an excellent, excellent job. Akhil shared his poem with us, and so let's read it. This poem is entitled, My Favorite Teacher. My favorite teacher is Sir Shannon. He is as tall as a tree, simile. He's very strict and doesn't smile, but we all know that he loves us like a father loves his child, simile. We are so blessed to have him as our class teacher for this year, because although he's tall and strict, his kindness is as clear as day, simile. Akhil, great job, let's give him a nice hand. Someone sent in a poem online as well. This one came in from Delon Fernandez. His poem is entitled, The Number One Teacher. My favorite teacher is number one. Her smile is as bright as the morning sun. Simile, she's always in a happy mood like someone who just ate some delicious cook-up food. Very good, simile again. Whenever I'm in her class, I always have fun 
but sometimes she behaves like someone who just drank some rum. <laughs> Delon, I'm glad you did not put your favorite teacher's name, but nonetheless, a good one. Let's give him a nice hand. Good job, Delon. Our final activity for this lesson, here is what you'll be doing. You'll be making what is called a simile collage. And let me give you some instructions as into how to go about making this collage. The first thing you'll do is that you'll write down three words that describes the subject of your collage. Cardboards for you, and here are some markers, and of course you'll get the magazines. For those of you working at night, I'll send the pictures to you, and you can get working on these things. volunteered and they shared their um, Sydney collage with us, and so this one here belongs to Jabez, and Jabez's collage is entitled My Cat, and here he has, it says, my cat is soft like a pillow. So we see the simile, my brother. And hers reads, my brother is as strong as an ox. Make sure an ox, very good. And my brother is as brave as a lion. Very nice. And then my brother is as cool as a cucumber. Very, very good. And so students, this brings us to the end of our simile class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope learn and until next time have a great day